Hey everyone, welcome to the new video. Um, I'm Vegan Mark. I'm going to talk about uh, the topic of what I call headspace. What do I mean by headspace? I'm talking particularly about my predicament as an involuntary client of mental health authority and the fact that I have to take antipsychotics. Now, I don't know any, everything about antipsychotics, but what I suspect is that antipsychotics have changed the very infrastructure of my thinking patterns. So there are a lot of thoughts that I could have thought um, five or ten years ago, which I can't think of, think of now. Things like thinking of inventive stories, using my imagination, thinking along fictitious lines, um, thinking of p peculiar things which might have interesting possibilities to them. So I was a much better writer of short stories in the past than I am at the moment, for example. My poetry has improved a little bit, I reckon, because poetry is much more immediate and, and much more short-winded than writing short stories or long stories. But my ability to write stories, either short or long, has um, got got worse or I might call de-improved de -improved over the last five or ten years um, because of, I suspect, taking these antipsychotics that I've been on. So I'd like your opinion. If you know anything about what antipsychotics do and how they affect the brain and the mental thought processes, I'd be very interested to learn because this is something that's really um, bothered me a lot over the last five or ten years especially. I am generally concerned about my brain. I'm generally concerned about the fact that I've lost so much of my imaginative powers that I used to have when I was younger in my Middle mid twenties, for example, I could write great stories. They weren't particularly fantastic stories, but they were very imaginative, and they I allowed myself to think through um, a lot of a lot of great plots and just be able to entertain different thoughts, which I can't do any anymore. Also, in my thirties, my early thirties, especially, I was. Um, a vendor for the Big Issue Australia, so I sold magazines, street magazines, um, and made a pretty tidy profit from them because I was so charismatic. My presentation was very, very flamboyant. I, you know, held up the magazines, I shouted, and I waved, and I danced around and did all these crazy things with with my act on the streets. And I think a lot of that was driven by the fact that I was in poverty and I loved the, the prospect of making money. But um, having said that, it's it's sad that I lost that motivation and now that I'm settled um, in my apartment and I have an apartment, I don't have the incentive to make a lot of money, um, a lot of that hullabaloo has gone from my psyche. So the theories include whether it's caused by antipsychotics, whether it's caused by lack of motivation to make more money. Um, we can speculate about all of these things, whether it's just old, just getting older, because I'm now 41. So we can speculate about all of these things, but no one knows for sure what the real cause is. I think my psychiatrist might have a better idea, but they're really dumb at explaining things. So um, I can't exactly ask them, you know, what's the cause of these things? Usually they excuse themselves and say it's, it's most likely the cause of old age, the cause is old age, and they'll say, you know, you get as you get older, you can't think certain things, or um, it's a result of your mental illness, possibly your paranoid schizophrenia. You can't think think certain things that you could think of five or ten years ago. You know, I think most of these theories are bogus. Um, I tend to think it's pro probably due to the antipsychotic drugs that I have to take, um, but I don't know for sure, and I'd really like to know the truth about this stuff because. Why I can't think of the great things that I could think of five or ten years ago is really, really distressing to me. And I'd like to be able to think that I can still be a great writer, still be a great poet, still be a great artist and artisan, and be able to do all the things I want to do in life. My music, my art, my creative writing, all this stuff is very important to me. So if you have any thoughts on this topic and you're interested in letting me know what your, what your theories are, please drop some comments down in the comment section below uh, or let me know by email either way is fine and i will talk to you soon bye for now